Hi, I'm Dr. Maxim Chumek, and I'd like to discuss a case where a patient was a victim of one of the meal clinics in a popular tourist destination for hair restoration. As full-time hair transplant physician, I frequently see patients with concerns about having surgery that resulted in less than desirable results. In this case, we have a 55 years old male who went to Turkey to have a hair transplant. He presented to me three days after his procedure upon arrival back to the United States with visible blackened area right in the middle of the scalp. There is some redness in the surrounding area in the central portion of the frontal area of the scalp. And what we see on this picture is a clear presentation of necrosis of the recipient area. It could happen as a result of not being treated with the standard approach. Most common reason for necrosis of the recipient area is vascular damage due to implantation of creating sites too close together, too deep in damaging the vascular network, which results in ischemia or lack of oxygen supply and necrosis. Upon talking to a patient, he went to one of the places where the doctor was not part of the surgical team and the entire procedure was performed by technicians. Because of the ischemia of the area or lack of oxygen supply to the area, it also predisposed patient to have an infection because if you don't have enough blood flow, bacteria can take advantage of that. And we can clearly see in the surrounding area significant redness as a result of active infectious process. To add to the story, patient called uh, with his concern to the clinic they had a procedure. They asked him to send his picture. Once he sent his pictures, they stopped communicating with the patient. That he never heard back from them. My role here was to mitigate any damage that was done to the patient and help to maximize the survival rate of the grafts that being implanted. We started with hyperbaric oxygen therapy to hypersaturate ischemic tissue with lots of oxygen. The patient did over 20 sessions of HBOT. It did help him to minimize the area of the ischemia, area of the necrosis. But unfortunately, some small area did not retain graft. There was a complete healing of the affected zone and he will likely need another small transplant to compensate for the grafts lost in the area. Always research the reputation of the doctor and the clinic before you make your decision to have your hair transplant. Safety and quality should always come first.